Realtors, do you want a day in the life, step-by-step -step marketing guide? Well, stay tuned. I'm gonna give it all to you exactly how I do it. And this is the tool that I've used to put myself out there online and draw clients to me. I've been doing this since 2011, so stay tuned. All right, guys, let's get after it. I'm gonna give you my 12-step process. If you follow this, you're gonna put yourself out there as the expert. So I'm gonna give you a little precursor before we jump into those 12 steps. The first thing is, this is gonna be helpful for you to get clarity and have organization so you're not just randomly putting yourself out there, okay? So start with choosing your target audience. What is the reason you are making content? Who are you making content for? Ask yourself that question. And then you're going to deposit value to that target market. Um, your deposits of value are gonna come first. So before you withdraw to request for business, you wanna give value, okay? Um, here's some ideas around, because a lot of people get stuck on this step. So if you can write down 10 to 15 pieces of value that you think people will be interested in, um, you can of course use AI, right? So chat GPT is really popular now, Jasper, um, go in there and get some value, get some content that you can utilize. You can also use a free keyword tool analyzer to see what people are searching for, and you can reverse engineer your value around that. I'm going to give you a hint. Give them something that they can't easily search for online. If you're a licensed real estate agent like I am, pocket listings are great. Coming soon listings are great because these are not advertised everywhere, right? Um, so once you deposit that value, then you'll be able to ask for an appointment, ask for a referral or ask for business. And then the third step in this pre-step marketing process is to create your brand. So once you establish who your target market is, your brand should be around that. Um, for example, Make Dallas My Home is one of my brands. I'm a Dallas real estate agent and I wanna help people who wanna make Dallas their home, okay? So area specialization, luxury, home value now, living in, moving to, lifestyle, top neighborhoods in, best schools in, hidden gems in, there, it goes on and on. So make sure you're specific. And don't worry about if you don't have an online presence right now, that's why you're utilizing this process to get you out there. So you can start with nothing and in six months or less, um, really put yourself out there as the expert for people to choose. And then you wanna just create a simple description bio that highlights your superpower um, and then create a graphic that highlights your superpower. And then you're done. So that's the beginning steps. Now let's jump into the takeover. So we're gonna start by establishing a topic. So around this deposit of value, we're gonna create an outline because we're gonna create a video around this topic. And we're going to create a introduction for that video. So a short introduction, that's gonna be used later and I'm gonna tell you how to do it. So make sure you pay attention. And then your video should consist of three parts, your introduction, your body, and your outro. I'm gonna jump into how this should look. So your introduction needs to grab people. You have a few seconds to get people to want to listen to what you're talking about, right? So why should they listen to the end of it? You could start by asking a question, right? Um, but something that's gonna grab their attention in the first few seconds. All right, don't start with who you are, start with that hook and then um, introduce who you are, okay? And then the next step is your body. So go into details about your value that you're providing. And then the last part is your closing statement. You know, mention um, for them to like your video, mention for them to subscribe, right? Now for your video, you're gonna take your full video that you created, you're gonna post it on YouTube. Your YouTube should be branded with your graphic that you had created for you. Um, your headline, so I utilize this outline here to keep me organized with everything. And I use TubeBuddy to get my headline. So TubeBuddy um, is a plugin for Google Chrome. 
and you can go in, find out what people are searching on YouTube for. So you can use that as your headline, your description, you can make it keyword rich. So when you go into TubeBuddy, and I'm gonna pull it up here for you guys really quickly. Um, it's pretty simple to pull it up. Just go to your channel and you'll see this little deal here and you want, you want to click on Keyword Explorer and launch the Keyword Explorer and you can type your stuff in. So moving to Dallas and I'll explore that. So that's not a good one, um, but it gives you more related searches, right? So moving to Dallas, Texas, not a good one. Um, pros to moving to Dallas. See how that one does. Still poor. Um, pros and cons of moving to Dallas. Oh, that one's excellent, right? So I would probably create a video around this. So I'm gonna copy this. This is gonna be my headline here. And then I'm gonna click on these other like video topics and I can select all of them and I can copy to my clipboard and I can use these in my description, right? So it's keyword rich. And then I can also use these in my tags for YouTube, okay? So once I post that video, I'm going to share that video straight to Twitter and my Twitter should be branded with my graphic that I made, right? I'm gonna also post straight to LinkedIn and my LinkedIn should be branded with my graphic that I made. And then I'm going to post to my Facebook business page. So I should have a Facebook business page that's branded with the graphic that I made, right? And I'm gonna boost this video um, on Facebook between 10 and 20 bucks a day. I'll check it weekly. If it's performing well, I'll just keep letting it run. And then I'm gonna share that onto my Facebook personal page. My introduction, if I do it right, can serve as my one minute clip for our Instagram. So I should have my Instagram account. It should be branded with the graphic that I made, right? And I will just post it on there. And then I can take that same clip and post it on TikTok. Now with Instagram, because you can't have a link right in there to your YouTube video, what you can do is in your short introduction, tell them that they can find the link in your bio and you can utilize something like Linktree that lists all of your videos that you make, okay? Next is you're gonna take your boosted post and you are gonna share it in Messenger and you're gonna do 20 a day, okay? Um, so hopefully you will have started building up a following in that Facebook group that you made, that Facebook business page, and that's where you're gonna start sharing your videos to. And then for your email database, as you're growing your followers, okay? You wanna collect their information and have their emails. And you wanna take a screenshot of your video and put it inside your email. So it almost feels like they're clicking on it, okay? BombBomb Bomb is not a good tool for mass emails, just so you know. Um, it is sent in a, GIF file, which means it's very heavy and it doesn't get as good of a delivery rate doing it that way. So this is the outline that I use. So this subject line for your email is gonna be keyword rich, just like the subject line for your YouTube video. And then in your email copy, you're gonna use the same sort of format, but you're gonna to link to your YouTube video. That format needs to be keyword rich, okay? So just pull it from your TubeBuddy. Next is you want to ten, talk to 10 people delivering that topic of value that you've spoke about in your video. And then the cool thing is if you record in Zoom, okay, Zoom is gonna give you an audio and a video file when you're completed. You can take that audio file and push it through and make a podcast out of it, okay? And then our last step in this whole process is 
when you post your video on YouTube, and I'm gonna go in here and show you how to do it. When you post your video, so you're gonna go into your studio here, and then you are going to pull up, sorry, go into your channel. From your channel. Kearney Jordan here, real estate broker, I still see it. Something you're gonna that pull I up an actual video from your video. We'll you can go over here to the side and click on these three little dots, click on show transcript. You want to toggle timestamps and then you can copy all of the text from your video and create a blog. All right, guys, I hope this helps. If this video was helpful for you, take the time right now and just hit that like button. If you got something out of this and you wanna hear more and get notified when I'm updating and uploading new content, hit the subscribe button. If you want to talk more about how these systems and processes could work in your business, if you wanna learn what it would be like to partner with me and have access to all the tools and systems that I have, there's a link in the description to block off some time. I'd love to sit down and see if what I have could help you.